Thanks for joining us, folks. Today is November the 5th, and um, yeah, this is some bisque that we have through the kiln that is ready for ready for glazing. So um, if you see, if you can see this this tankard, you can see that it's got a uh, a scratch decoration, which I, I did actually with the, the lemon zester. Um, one thing you should, you should do, and actually you can do this before it goes into the bisque firing, but when it's bone dry, is that you clean out these, these uh, scratchings that you make thoroughly. Now, in this case with me, I didn't actually do that. I should have done, but I didn't. I didn't clean them. Because they can, you know, quite a few little bits of dried clay can get, uh, accumulate here in this, in this carved decoration. So, what you really want to do is take a brush like that. You can use one of these an old kitchen scrubber, one that you've had in the kitchen that is worn out, to clean down uh, into the grooves of whatever decoration you've got. Okay, so as well as as well as cleaning the outside, though, of course, we've got to dust the dust the the pot, get any loose dirt off, um, uh, dust that may have accumulated. In the in the workshop, it's not a bad idea, you know, when you've got when you've got wear on boards like this. If you're not going to get around to um, dealing with it or glazing it very quickly, is to turn your biscuit bisque ware upside down like this, just to keep the insides from filling up with with dust. Um, so, so what I what I generally do is, you know, I, I decide if I have say a batch of mugs, like I, as you can see here, I've got a batch of mugs. I I decide which ones are going to go into which glaze and which ones are going to go into the other. So I separate them out like that a bit, as you can see I've done, and um, these ones here I'm going to now just dip in some. It's a it's a white milky glaze and it's it lends itself quite well to for for decorating on. So I've got a bucket over there. Uh, maybe hang on, maybe just get a bit closer. I'm just using this small small bucket here. Um, so so um, yeah. So when you're going to come come to do your your, your glazing, what you, you you want to get yourself a bit organised, you see, work off of wear boards like I'm doing, and um, you'll need a jug, a pouring jug, have a little saucer as well. Um, I always have a, a sponge at the at the ready, and. Hang on a moment, I'm not quite as organised as I thought I was. I'll move this glaze, move that glaze bucket out of the way and that one as well. And I've got room to move! Aha! Okay, so, yes. I actually need to make up a fresh bat batch of this glaze. I just uh, transferred it into here. Giving it a good stir. And oh, just bring those a bit closer. All right, there we go. So um, what I'm gonna do with these ones 
because the outside of these I actually want to spray spray wood ash onto uh, wood ash out of my fireplace mixed with water you've seen me do that before uh, but the inside I want to glaze and just over the rim here and also the, the top of the handle and just around the corner here so that's what we're going to do now okay so having dusted them we're going to take our our pouring jug all right we're going to pour in about a third give it a little swill like that wind your wrist up like that and then pour it out you see like that okay and now making sure I'm dead level just take it down like that and then over the handle like that okay put him down on the wearboard next fella wind your wrist up pour and unwind your wrist at the same time get him level above the glaze and just down to the shoulder and then the handle da -da -da -dee 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 -dee. okay there he is what could be simpler So these should look quite nice. They'll have the a toasty outside here where the where the scrofita decoration is with a white top. I might even put a bit of iron uh, around the top there. I don't know. So yeah, just feel these that they're not. Sometimes they can get a bit sharp, you know the the engravings. Wind the wrist, pour and unwind. Steady hand. La, la, la. I also give it a little blow, blow it a bit. Yeah, weather's getting a bit cooler right now and we've got the fire light. In fact, we've got 72 degrees. It's almost too warm, isn't it? Almost too warm. Okay, all right, so 
I've got some other things to glaze as you can see over there and we'll do those in the next clip. So that we keep things not too long-winded, we try and keep them short. Thank you for joining us folks, I appreciate it. And I do have, I do have, uh, I do have some of these cut-off wires I made, I've made ten or more and I'll probably make some more actually. So I, I've yet to put them up on the website but if you're interested in one of these nylon twisted weighted toggle cut-off wires then please write to me. Just write to me for the moment. Um, yeah, just write to me until I've got it up on the, up, up on the site, please, if you're interested. And uh, yeah. Oh, I'm pleased with those wires actually. They're a bit of a fiddle to do, but you know, it's like anything, you could get into a system and then, um, yeah, they're, they're not so bad to make. One other thing, I am, uh, if anybody wants to Skype with me, sort of pottery related questions, preferably, um, I'm going to be offering that. If anybody wants to just have a one on one, conversation with me about something. Maybe you want to show me some of your pots or or ask me a question. And if I know the answer I can I can I can tell you. Um, if I don't know the answer then of course I won't I won't pretend that I do. <laughs> but if you'd like to do that, um, that's going to be going up on the website very soon in relation to Skyping. If you want to Skype, show me some of your work, if you want me to give you my opinion about it. Uh, then I will do so. Um, it's I am going to charge for doing it though. It's not going to just be a freebie, you know, uh, because time is money, isn't it? So uh, write to me for the details of that, and I'll tell you how to go about it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that 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 could be quite good little interaction, you know, especially over the winter time when we're a little bit more uh, stuck at home because of the weather etc. It uh, might be something nice to do, you know, a bit of interaction. So feel free, if you'd like to do that, write to me and I can pass you over the details of, about how to go about that. Okay, yes, this coming weekend workshop over at Montoursville, I'm getting ready for that. I don't know if I'm going to squeeze in a fire in here before. Um, and then on the 22nd and 23rd we have a workshop here. I keep practicing workshop. So uh, it might be probably the last that weather will permit. After that, I think the weather is going to deteriorate. So anyway, if that's something that interests you, um, go to my website on the workshops page or get in touch with me directly and um, we can uh, talk about that. Okay, hey, thanks for joining us. Just a quick clip on just doing some glazing. Uh, probably in the next clip I'm just going to show you about how to do the double dip. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.